Let's build an empire together. This is the Bachman Empire Builder complete and ready to run in scale electric train set. Yes, it's the little teeny tiny trains. Found this at a store called Bargain Hunt. Bargain Hunt has items that are reboxed, repackaged, or damaged box, that type of thing. This is either a damaged box or a returned item. The locomotive is kind of looks like it's in bad shape there. The tenders on its side. There's track falling down. There's no plastic here to protect this. I actually do not know how I got this and these hadn't fallen out of the box. So let's open. I, I used a 25% off coupon too to get this. So we're going to open this thing up. Uh, it looks like it's already been open. Probably a return. That's what I'm guessing. Well, let's find out. All right. I know all the cars I think are there. I just don't know if everything. Oh, wow. Look at that. It, it is actually not too bad. Um, one way you can tell that this is a return is that all these are loose. Uh, usually the ones I've gotten before, they're kind of tied together. Uh, but these are all loose in here. But it looks like everything might be here. A lot of straight track, curved tracks, more curved tracks. Why do people return trains? Usually they return them after they broke them. That's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping this thing will work. Got the locomotive tender there. So I'll uh, get everything out of here and set this up. All right, we've got our track set up, and I'm looking at this locomotive and the front couple of wheels. There's a little screw there that looks like it's coming out. And what I do not know is, is, is that original? See there? The screw's about to come out. Let's see if I can fix that. Oops, wrong way. This is my glasses screwdriver. It's hard to do. I have a feeling this is why this was returned. It's not going in. There we go. That wheel looks really loose. Because that's the way it's supposed to be. There we go. Now I've got it all tightened up. And I'll put it on the track. Alright, this thing was a pain to put on the track. Hopefully this is on there. Let's see. My first attempt. Ooh, it's going. Oh, and it stopped. Not good. Uh oh, the wheels came off there. Oh, goodness. Oh, I need to turn the, this off. See if I can get. Oh, the, this is the, the tender keeps coming separated from the locomotives. So that's a pain. I need both hands. All right, let's try it again. Oh, it stopped again. Why is it stopping?
All right, seems to be making it around the track all right. Go full speed. Oh, derailed. Doesn't like full speed. I just had the cars. All right, we got the train cars on there. Nice freight train. I like the sound it makes. Isn't that nice? All right, let's go over what we have. We have our Santa Fe 484 Northern Steam Locomotive with operating headlight and tender. The headlight did work. I think you might have seen it in some of the other shots. All right, this is the Pennsylvania Open Quad Offset Hopper. This is the plug door box car, I believe. Uh oh. This is the reefer. <laughs> Whoa, come back. Uh, when I see these, uh, <laughs> this car makes me think of the king of the road trailers for sale or rent, rooms to let 50 cents. You know, that song, because it's Bangor, Maine. All right, we got the gondola which is, what do they call this, a wood-braced gondola. It's got a coal load in it. We have the single-dome tank car. I like this, the um, cattle car. What are they? Wood stock cars, what they call them. I call them cattle cars, but they're called stock cars. And then we have the center flow hopper and the off-center caboose. Now, everything's the same as on the picture, except I got a, ended up with a different tank car than the one on the picture. But that's not unusual. Sometimes you do get a, a different road name or a different style. It's a nice little set. Doesn't run good at slow speeds. It's hesitating a little bit. I might need to clean those wheels. Oh, well, I forgot to mention um, the couplers in here. They're more like knuckle style couplers. They do send you the rapido, however you say it, rapido style couplers that you can switch it out, which are more along the lines of what you would get like here, that type of coupler, which I think would work better. Because if you, set, if you uncouple them, it's hard to couple the train back together and get all these signs. I'm not going to go through the trouble of opening all these up and setting up these little teeny tiny signs and little teeny tiny telephone poles but that also came with the set i think uh, maybe down the road i will change out the couplers i like these style couplers even though they're not realistic they're easier to work with on the small scale and i think that's why they make them so that is the empire builder complete and ready to run in scale electric train set i only needed to make one minor repair on this used train set so I think it's a really good set. Uh, I don't know about at the retail price. I did look at getting this before. A, uh, what store? Tuesday, not Tuesday morning. Um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has this set. Uh, some of the different Hobby Lobbies 
and you can use a 40% off coupon to get it, but it's still kind of expensive. Uh, but um, that's what, if you're going to get it, that's what I would recommend. Either using a 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby or Amazon. But this one's a real, like I said, with the couplers, the style it is, it's a pain to work with. Let me show you before I go. So if we uncouple the, this car here, all right, normally with a regular, or with those Rapido, Rapido <laughs> couplers, uh oh, stopped. I hate it when this happens. Oh, goodness. See, they don't connect. Great. So I wouldn't recommend getting this if you have young children. This is really not for them. This is probably more for teenagers or adults. It's just a little bit too hard to deal with. Easily broken. So in scale, not for kids. Maybe if you want to set it up where they can watch it but not touch. Because it will break very easily and it's a real pain to get it started and up and running. But it looks pretty good for such a small scale once it's going. So that's another Bachman in scale train. We've got others. We've... Uh, shown mostly Thomas and Friends, but um, thought I'd show you this one. Hey, it's my biggest in scale locomotive now. Nice. Be sure to subscribe to Briggs Our Toys.